Hi pandas, it's Miss Prantle. I have a lovely story today for you called The Blue House. There's the house right there in the neighborhood. And this story is by Phoebe Wall. Leo lived with his dad in an old blue house next to a tall fir tree. There it is. The paint was peeling and the roof was mossy. There were leaks and creaks and when the wind blew, the whole thing shook. But it was theirs. Leo loved the blue house in the winter with its hiding places and cozy spaces. When the old heater broke, they would bake a pie just to warm up the kitchen. They would dance. Leo loved the blue house in the summer it's with its garden full of raspberries and tomatoes. He would play in the yard until the sun went down. Lately, there was all kinds of construction going on in the neighborhood. Big new apartment buildings were going up next door and across the road. Leo would watch the backhoes and trucks out of his window. They looked like tiny toys. There's Leo, you can see him. I'm worried ours will be next, he heard his dad say on the phone one night. But Leo knew his dad was wrong. Their blue house would be theirs forever. One day, Leo's dad picked him up from school. But instead of going home, they got ice cream and went to the beach. I got a letter from the landlord today, Leo's dad said. They've sold our house and it's going to be torn down. I'm sorry, bud. We're going to have to move. Leo was angry. How could someone just take their house away? He kicked and screamed and locked himself in his room. They couldn't tear it down if he never came out. Hmm. But... Leo got hungry, and after a while he went down for dinner. I'm angry too, his dad said. So after they ate, they danced and stomped and raged together. They shredded on guitar, and Leo did a special scream solo. It made both of them a little less mad. Soon the blue house began to fill up with boxes. Every day another familiar object was packed away. When the blue house was empty, it was echoey and drafty like a hollow shell. These walls look so naked, said Leo. Let's paint on them, said his dad. It made both of them a little less sad. Oh, they have a bird and a frog and oh, their cat's going into the cat carrier. The new house felt empty too. It didn't feel like home. I hate it, said Leo. That's okay, said his dad. One day, Leo and his dad walked by the hole where the blue house had been. When they shut their eyes, they could see it clearly, hear every floorboard's creak and the drip of the faucet's leak. But when they opened them again, their home was gone. That night, as Leo lay in bed staring at the empty walls of his new room, he had an idea. What if we painted it? Leo said. Good thinking, said his dad. Then together they mixed the perfect shade of blue. And it made them both feel a little bit more at home. They painted their old house on the wall. Little by little, familiar objects begin to appear in the new home. After school one day, Leo and his dad baked a pie in the kitchen. That night, they unpacked the stereo and danced and stomped and sang until it was time for bed. Leo had been right. The blue house would be theirs forever. And with each passing day, the new house was becoming theirs too. There's their new house in the neighborhood. The end. And at the end it says, you're never far from, the ho from home when you're with the people you love.
I thought that was a nice story about how hard it can be to move sometimes, but also give us a lot of ideas of things we can do with our emotions when we're upset. I hope you like the stories. Bye pandas. Have a nice day.